Okay, before this video starts, I just figured I'd quickly let you know, it's quite a long one, about 20 minutes, I don't normally do videos this long, so I've stuck some timestamps on screen and in the comments. You can use them to head the particular parts of the video if you're only here for certain parts. If you want all of it, watch all of it. If not, go to them. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, hello and welcome to today's video, so today's something a bit different from what I normally do, but yeah, who cares. So I know my channel is normally a Zelda one, but I play Splatoon 2 as well every now and then, and there were some new amiibos for it, they were on a good deal, figured I may as well get them. Also figured, due to that, I may as well do a video on them. So, yes, here are the amiibos, still in their box as you can see, they literally just arrived several hours ago. Now, um, there's the box and stuff, but you can see that um, the Octoling boy has a Octobrush, and the Inkling girl, I believe, has a roller. And then there's obviously just the Octoling Octopus ink thing as well itself. The box itself, pretty nice, got these really good artwork on the back and stuff. I think. <laughs> um, on the back it explains what it does. So it's just saying how you get these costumes in game and now you can like store stuff on it and whatnot. Basically the standard amiibo stuff, but yeah. Now I am going to Oh crap, I don't have any who cares, rip box, you're getting destroyed I guess, oh well, I don't normally like to do this but, yeah, I'm not the sort of person to keep them within a box anyway, so, standard amiibo instruction booklet, no one cares about that. Here they are themselves. Now, if I take them out one at a time, we can look at them. Let's start with the standard Octo. The standard octopus one, so here we are. This one is really well made. The object's material is pretty reflective, it makes it actually seem like ink if you're looking at it. The detail on it isn't too high, but at the same time it's pretty damn good detail, so... It looks as if it would do in the game, like it lo actually looks like it's jumping out of the ink, and that is pretty good. Really happy with this one, and like how it's done. Also, it looks pretty nice to just look at it. Face. I think the camera's a bit blurred, but and I'm rotating it badly, but you can see what I mean, probably. Next, we have the Octoling Girl Amiibo. Now, this one has more when it comes to detail than the other one. So, um, she is wearing the armor from the Octo expansion, DLC. You can see the balloon thing strapped to her back that... Um, CQ Cumber uses to blow you up, man. She is holding a roller, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not an expert at the game. It looks like a roller though, so yeah. It does have details inscribed on it in the Inkling language or whatever the hell it is. If I put it on my camera, it would appear blurred to you, but I'll get an image and put it on screen. But yeah, the level of detail on this one is really good. Like, yeah, they've got it in a nice pose as well and everything. So, that one is pretty damn good. Pleased with this one, too. Oh, also want to point out, the ink on the bottom of Amiibo looks pretty realistic. You may not be able to see it in the camera, but yeah. Octoling Boy now. I can put the plastic thing to the side, but... Um, Octoling Boy, he is done in a different pose, but once again, a good one. He is using an Octobrush, I believe, once again, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe I'm right. 
and he also has the um, writing on his, he has the writing on his shoe but not on the brush itself, but yeah, he's also wearing the armour from this, I think it's like the Null Armour is it, or the Neo Ockling Armour, something along the lines of that name, can't remember exactly, but yeah, also pretty well detailed. Really like this one as well. Nice pose too. Great amiibos overall. Now, I will show you their functionality within the game. Okay, here we are, loaded up the game. Now, from my knowledge, you will head back here to this amiibo thing. There, you've got it like that. Now you get your remote. In my case, it's a pro controller, it doesn't have to be, you can use Joy-Cons too. And then, you tap it down on top of the middle. Am I doing that right? I can't see that. There we go. Oh, I think I need to... You need to keep it held down whilst you do this, I think. Register. Um, oh, um, okay, sure. Enter an... Oh, maybe I nickname. Right, you have, you have to go through this process if it's your first time, but... Not too complicated, you just give it a name, whatever all you want, and then you're done. So in my case, let's just call it Octo. I mean, it fits what it is. So yeah. Then you hold it over the touch point again. And it registers it. Oh, you tap it again, I believe. There we go! Octo, I have never been looking at your face before. Hmm. You are having potential. Like big iceberg of freshness. We will be friendly together. It will give us many fun. I will keep your gear and camera options inside my brain. And you will change into that gear fast in the lobby or equip screen. Is good now. Do it for me. Okay. I am full of grateful for the friendliness. Do not stop the splatting, and I will not stop the gift presents. Fresh fish head? <laughs> okay, let us apprehend the memories with camera picture. Take a photo of this amiibo. Oh, nice. You can... Lots of different places, I guess. I think I'll go with Skipper Pavilion. I like that location. Obviously, you can go with anywhere, but... Yeah. Oh, change filter. Okay. Lots of different filters here. I like... Is that the regular one? I like this one, yeah. And then... Different poses. I like that pose, then. Okay. Ah, wrong blooming button. Um. And take photo. There we go. Got that fish head thing from it. Now, let's try it out with the Octoling girl amiibo. Okay, there it is. Well, where there she is even. Now what she's come to life. <laughs> it is nice to be meeting you. I'm feeling that you are how do you say the fresh. <laughs> but if you are battle at day and night, you are more freshness. I think this is the time when I should ask if we can be the friends. 
Friends can remember your gear and camera options, yes? Then you have fast gear in the lobby or equip screen. It is convenient. Okay, we are the friends now. Do it for me. There we go. Boo, yes. We are celebrating with more splatting and more gifts. Enchanted hat. Yes, we should capture selfie picture. I think this place is a nice place and good spot for that. And take photo. Oh, filter that. Okay, nice. It is being the pleasure to meet you. Hmm, you smell like the fresh. Nah, this is what my nose is saying to me. But you are like ink mine of freshness, but is not explode yet. And so I'm putting my eyeballs on you. I think we are being friends, yes? We are friends, so I am knowing your gear and camera options. And you are switching to that gear in the lobby or equip screen any time. Are you liking this friend? Do it for me. Yahoo! I am knowing you are liking this. We are be being friends forever, so you are having the gifts from me. Steel Helm! Nice. I'm thinking we are creating a photograph now. Please to make the picture now. Okay. That looks decent. Ah! Ah! There. If you want to save the gear, head to the equip screen. Then, over to Other, Amiibo, save your current gear to Amiibo, save. So then, you tap the Amiibo down onto the remote. There you go. That is how you save your gear, so now that I've got that set up done, say I head over here, um, don't want the Nautilus anymore. Say I want the Kenza Dino. Head back over here. Amiibo. Save to Amiibo. I don't necessarily want that anymore, so... Say I want to go back to my old gear. I go like that. There we go. Back to my old self. So, that is how all that works. Now, in terms of the actual gear bonuses it gives you, as you noticed, I got the head for each one. Now, I've been told if I play more matches, I'll get more, so... How about I do that? Okay, so, I've done one battle, and I get the next piece of gear for that one. Oh! I got all of this stuff! There's new music as well. So, I only did one battle and I got it all. Enchanted robe, enchanted boots. And another song. Okay. Steel plate mail. Steel greaves. And another song. Okay. The songs were just dead fish songs, so from Arc to Expansion. Still nice though, but yeah. Now Let's take a look at the gear, shall we? So, um, 
the fish one, and that was a comeback special. No comeback main. Um, the steel helm has a special charge up main. That enchanted out as an ink saver main. The fish gloves have quick super jump. Steel plate main with ink saver. Enchanted ray with thermal ink. Quick respawn on the fresh fish feet. Object shred on the steel greaves. Run speed up on the enchanted boots. Sadly for me, they're not the sort of stuff I like to have in my setup. Like, I have last ditch effort, ninja squid, and drop roller, but still nice, I guess. Depends on what sort of setup you're going for, but they definitely look good, in fact. You know what? I'll show you them what they look like. Okay, this is the fish set. It's. call it what you want. I just call it. creepy. <laughs> so. Yeah, makes you look like some sort of wizard. That one's decent. It's not super creepy. Well, I mean, the other one it's good because you can wear it for like a meme and stuff, but like. Eh? This one looks cool. I've not seen a set like this in the game before, really. Like, whoa. The other sets are cool too, but like, not seen a set like this in the game before. Yeah, there you have it though. All of the sets that you get from the amiibos, and what all the different things that they have, how to get them, how to take the photos, how to store abilities in them, what they look like in real life from that start bit, but should about cover everything really, so thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that none of you genuinely find this set pleasant or attractive or anything. And bye!